Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, here with Aoife Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Hello. Good morning. Uh, so we're talking about the Earth's magnetic pole. Yes, okay. yeah, we're going to be talking about a little bit of the uh, science of the Earth's magnetic field and also navigation, so okay. how we use it. Um, so we're going to start off talking about the, the idea that the Earth has a magnetic field, okay. um, which it does because of the molten iron in the outer core. All right. That gives it a magnetic field. Um, and it has kind of an interesting look. And we can see that a little bit. If I put a magnet on this window, this window is full of iron filings. Do you see how we get those two spots that get pulled? Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, where the poles actually are. Shows. <laughs> that was unintentional, but yeah. you know, it definitely helped tell the story. Yeah, so these two, the two poles of this magnet are uh, where our magnet is magnetic. It starts pulling all those iron filings. And that's actually what our Earth's magnetic field kind of looks like. So here's an image of that. So we have our North Pole and our South Pole, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and so we have a lot of molten iron up there, and that's how we get this magnetic field. Okay. It's really important. It helps protect us from solar wind and keep us safe from UV. But we also use it for navigation. For navigation. So we're going to actually try to make our own compass. Yes. We're well, not try. We are going to. We're going to. Okay, very yeah. good. So the way a compass works, um, it is mag it's attracted to things that are uh, magnets. So we can see here, if I put a bar magnet next to our compass, that needle is attracted to the magnet. Right? Yes. So that's how our compass works. And it's it's rotating 180 degrees as you go from north to south. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. yep. Um, so based on that principle, we can actually make our own compass. So based on the idea that uh, compass just points to magnetic north because it's magnetic, if we take a needle, yep. we can make it into a temporary magnet. Like a needle pulling thread. A needle pulling thread. Yes. yes. So you're going to take your um, magnet, yep. and we're going to make this a temporary magnet by just swiping this permanent magnet along the needle. And does it matter which side of the magnet? Doesn't matter, okay. you just have to go in one direction. Okay. So we're going to go about 30 times. We're aligning all the electrons, the, the atomic domains in our needle. And we should point out too that this is just a nine by nine inch glass pan full of water. Yep, that's, that's all it is. It. Nothing special, no special solution, no special pan. Nothing at all. all. No, cool. so just a magnet, a needle, and some water. All right. And then we gotta make our mag our needle float. So I'm gonna shove it through a piece of styrofoam. All right. And that's just so the needle can orientate itself whichever way it wants. And then we'll see that even if I move my needle. They're going to try to point back this way. Oh, look at that. So even if we flip it around, yep. it's going to point itself back this way. Excellent. So it's attracted to um, magnetic north. OK. Isn't that cool? So if you're ever lost, you don't have a compass, but you have a needle, <laughs> some water, and a magnet, <laughs> you can make your own <laughs> per <compass>. Perfect. <laughs> oh, and a little piece of styrofoam. And a little piece of styrofoam. Yeah. <laughs> well, good stuff. All right, so <laughs> we now know where north is. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easy. Just you need those those few things, which you could actually try doing at home. Yeah, it's kind of a fun one to try at home. All right, so we should let everyone know about an event happening actually today at the Science Center. Yes, it's our sensory friendly day today. We partnered with the Miracle League on this. Um, so if you have anyone that you know in your family who has sensory issues, this is a good day. We turn off a lot of the noise and the lights. Um, so 10 to 5 is our sensory friendly day today. All right, and of course that's included with general admission. Yes. All right, yep. excellent. Thank you. Ethan, of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.